There's a thing in the paper today at the moment uh, talking about what uh, people consider to be their dream job. A uh, dream job? D- dream job. That's the word. I don't know what a dream job is. You may have a dream job. You may dream of jobs. I don't dream of jobs particularly. Dream jobs seem to be a very dreamish, drab thing to dream of, if you ask me. But anyway, there's this thing in the paper. I don't know what they're on about. What, what is a dream job? You know. Um, now, you would think, would you not, that everybody would want tons of money? Oh, yes, I could have a load of money to make me happy. Hundreds of thousands of pounds a month, like the uh, MPs and all those. Sort of, but are they they really happy do you think i mean they never look happy these rich people because all the time they've got all this money coming in for doing very little you've got lots of little people uh, going oi you you shouldn't be there so I, do you, I wouldn't really want that i wouldn't really i wouldn't really want to have a job in which everybody else is very envious of it because um that that would be wherever you go you're a lucky person aren't you you lucky lucky person i wouldn't want that i would I, I would want a job that is satisfying to me makes me happy and that actually nobody else would want to do. Now, I'm not saying that I would want to be a cleaner. I mean, you'd probably have to be a very special type of person, a very special person, in fact, to open up the lid and, oh, <laughs> nice, look at all that bro bat blue down there. No, it's not going to be... <laughs> Uh, no, that wouldn't be for me, I can tell you. I, I feel that I'm actually doing my dream job, a dream job, my, my dream job at this very moment in time. I just wish it paid a bit more, and that would be quite nice, if only the adverts on here were, were giving me a, a, a ton of cash. But as I say, if you were making a fortune from any of these things, everyone would be... Sh- the thing is... Actually, people do think you're making a fortune from it, which is why very often you get a lot of these people are showing the lifestyle of their thing again. This is how I actually live, burning two bits of coal together and making sure that I can keep warm. Oh, it's a nightmare. And, and actually, I was thinking about that. Coal miners. Imagine coal miners down there. You, you probably think, no, that's not a dream job of anybody. But, you know, you get away. If you're an antisocial person, you go down the old pit, clamber down the rope, whatever, with your little Tweety Bird on the top, making sure there's no gas escape or horrible fumes and all that kind of stuff. And they are in the dark with your pitchfork. Nobody's there, are they? Unless they have cameras, I suppose, to see how much coal that you're going... Oh, well, I'll just put the deck chair up and um, get a few zits in this afternoon. Just as long as you seem to be tapping a little bit. Probably, though, there'll be some foreman who has to come down the ladder and go, Oi, you, Vobes, get off, get some stuff done. I imagine. I mean, I don't know. What do I know about it? In fact, they're trying to uh, close all the coal mines, so that isn't going to be anybody's dream job any time soon, is it? So what would they do? What, they'd have to go and get a different job. Go to the office, I suppose. Work in an office. Is that what people are saying? For about 44 grand, you can work in an office. Well, a coal miner's not going to enjoy that very much. I, I, coming into the office, is say, I'm sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. You've got to have a wash and brush up before you come in. Oh, no. No, no. When I go to work, I like to put a bit of soot on me. I suppose a coal miner could work as a chimney sweep I did a bit of that recently or um, what are they going to do with their tweety tweety little birds I don't know why I'm pointing up there as if they sit on their heads Uh, where do they put those tweety birds do they have them in a cage I I don't know why I've got this image that the coal miners of yesterday uh, you know not literally yesterday I mean days before yesterday back in the days when people did go down the coal mine on a rope ladder and had a little tweet for some reason I've got this image that they're sitting on their head I, I, that's probably not true. That's uh, they're probably in a little bird table like this. And how would they? What it was minor birds, isn't it? Presumably minor. Is that how minor birds got their name? That they are actually the birds of little miners. And when there's this horrible gas leak or whatever, I mean, wait, it's a bit strange, isn't it? I, I'm just thinking now aloud here on this very strange highfalutin little rift that I'm. Is it a rift? No, it's a rift, isn't it? Um, that I'm going on. That, that, that minor birds down in the coal mines are sniffing to see if there's bad gas. Surely that would be people who are going down the gas mines, or is that the gas mains? Yes. Well, you don't get much gas from the mains these days, especially if Russia turns it off. <sighs> That's why we probably need a bit more coal with the old minor birds going down. So actually, I imagine it is quite a good job doing that. Unless, of course, you're um, anti the dark and you're quite scared and you're the only one down there and your minor bird has a bit of a cold and is coughing up, sounding a bit (coughs) miserable. You might think, oh, that's a bit of a ghost. 
Hmm. Anyway, uh, I'd like to know what your dream job is. You can tell me, actually, in the Vogue show. Uh, going to be performing this evening at 8 o'clock uh, UK time. And, of course, on all the run-up to Christmas, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the whole run-up to Christmas, uh, apart from at weekends. You know, one's got to have a bit of a lie down, a bit of beauty sleep, grow my hair, let my nose hang out, all that kind of stuff. Um, but, um, yes, I'm going to be doing shows Monday to Friday, 8 o'clock, on uh, this channel, uh, live. So you can chat in and, and and chat to me. So why don't you do that? Yeah. Anyway, that's it. <coughs> oh, too much coal in my lungs, I think. Right. I must, uh, I must go and uh, vent my spleen somewhere else. So uh, tonight then, see you there. <laughs>